Hey guys, it's Preston Commander. Today we're going to be taking a look at a rather interesting thing. I'm going to be taking a look at the Stellarium program from the Uncle Milton Star Theater SE. You will also get this from the Space Explorer Learning Pack and the Space Explorer Pack. So I got that from the disc, but somehow I loaded it into my father's laptop. And how did I get it? And in case if you're wondering, how did I get it on this computer without a disk drive? Well, I basically inserted a thumb drive inside the HP computer, copied the ROM files from the CD, and then after that, I've caught, and then after that, I installed it directly on the on the thumb drive so that way you can play so that way it can load into any computer that does not have a CD drive so there, there we have that I'm gonna show you now that's out of the way I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you through some of the features this thing have but what was currently shown now is just to turn on the phases oh no no not phases but just to turn on right here so the moon is right here so right now I'm facing west which is where the living room is in and um and back there is east Towards my bedroom is north, and then the closet is south. So you can see Cancer, you can see Drago, you can see anything right there, anything under the sun. Even though the sun isn't in there, but never mind that. Let's deactivate the land. The solar system is right over here. They are quite about to be aligned, actually. Let's take a look at Jupiter, shall we? But that means I have to press over here to stop. This. Yeah, here is Jupiter right there. Isn't that cool? Here you can see its moons, Io, Ganymede, Europa, and Callisto. We'll take a look at Venus. Here's what Venus looks like. No moons. Next is Uranus. A planet that's very far away. Titania. And not, and not the unnamed and no moon that shows up with the with only numbers. So here is Venus right there. Sadly, the rings do not show. Next is Mercury. So that's what Mercury looks like. The quality on the graphics of these 3D representations of these planets are kind of poor because it's old. It's made in 2006 and 5 and early, so it didn't have to be this way. But here's yeah, here's what Mars looks like. That's Phobos. And down there is Deimos. So let's take a look at Phobos for a second and see what Phobos looks like. Phobos is very t tiny. It's very small. And Deimos. Oops. Hold on, let me take a look at the sun again. Uh... Where is the sun? Okay, there we go. Uh, 
dude, that's Mars. Let's go back to the to Mars' moons. Okay, Deimos is down there. That's no, that's Deimos. It's also really small. And I pressed the keyboards again. Wow. Now let's take a look at Neptune, the first planet that was discovered by mass. Or at least, that's what, that's what it is according to the audio CD. Yep, that's Neptune. Sadly, the moons do not show up on that. Let's see. Mm, Saturn. It's Titan. Zoom at Titan real quick. Yeah, you can actually view one of Ti one of Saturn's moons, whereas all the others you, they're unviewable. Well, kind of. Well, that's what, yeah, that's what Saturn looks like. It's pretty cool. Pluto is still around, even though it's not a planet anymore. Even though we don't count it as a planet anymore. It's still part of the solar system family regardless. That's Pluto right there, and that's... It's Pluto right there, and that's its moon, Karen. And if you look up here... Uncle Milton's Stellarium. Unknown Observatory. Yeah, Uncle Milton's Delirium. As you can see, it tells us the seconds, minutes, and hour. And we're currently in May 21st, 2024, so it does count the names. And it even has the Uncle Milton branding, so you'll know that this is an Uncle Milton certified product. They, so you know this is an, this is an Uncle Milton certified Stellarium software. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.